Well, now that we've uh, talked about some ethical things regarding journalists and an overview of some of the ethical guidelines that uh, journalists are supposed to follow, here's uh, a case study to maybe put some of those ethical considerations uh, into focus. Sorry, I momentarily got distracted by a bug in the house here. Uh, anyway, uh, so this involves uh, the Toledo Blade, which is our local big city newspaper here in Northwest Ohio, uh, and a award-winning photographer for that paper. Uh, his name was Alan Dietrich. Uh, his name is actually still Alan Dietrich, but he doesn't work for the Blade anymore. But anyway, uh, around 2006, 2007, uh, the Blade started to get suspicious about some of his photographs. Um, and eventually what came to light was that he had doctored some of the photographs. And so, for example, he had used Photoshop to, in, in the paper that, I, or in the picture that actually led to his dismissal. Uh, if you recall several years ago, um, the bus crash that killed um, baseball players from Bluffton University. Um, for those of you who don't know, Bluffton University's baseball team, I believe it was, had a tournament they were playing in Atlanta, and when the bus was in Atlanta, uh, it got into a crash and several members of the team were killed. So they had a memorial service for the team back in Bluffton, and Dietrich went and shot that memorial service, and you'll see in one of the pictures what he did was sort of cut out the um, feet underneath a banner of some people that were standing there. And that was sort of the picture that s sort of led to the Blade looking at these pictures, and then they looked at some previous pictures and found other places that he had doctored photographs. Um, and as I said, it, it, it basically led to, uh, I believe he, he resigned, but it's one of those things where, well, you resigned, but you were fired. Um, but anyway, I think maybe some of you, and this is my experience in the class, some of you will probably look at um, some of this and say, well, I don't see what the big deal is. You know, why is it a big deal that he just, you know, cut out those feet? Or why is it a big deal that he cut out the cords in one of the pictures? Uh, you know, you might say, hey, it made the picture look better. Well, it kind of gets back to some of those ethical things we talked about um, and the idea that, that journalists uh, are supposed to be doing something that, for example, in advertising you're not supposed to do. Um, or, I'm sorry, journalists are, are, let me rephrase that, that journalists are not supposed to do some of the things that we do, for example, in advertising. And one of the examples that I use when I teach the class in person is I'll show one of those beautiful pictures of a Big Mac um, or some other McDonald's burger. And you know in the ads, like the burgers always look like big and thick and juicy and the buns are great and fluffy and everything just looks delicious. And then when you get... Uh, that hamburger from McDonald's, it looks really nothing like that. Um, and once again, the idea there is that when you're advertising something, you're trying to make it look as attractive and tasty as possible. Uh, you don't care if you cut some corners, you know, and some other sort of things. And I'll, I'll put a link on, on there as well to uh, uh, this one site where the guy um, looked at pictures of the food and then he ordered the food and he kind of compares what they look like. Uh, so, so that'll be interesting to you. But anyway, back to our main point, our, you know, our, our main issue we're looking at in this uh, case study here is um, this Alan Dietrich case. And um, we have an article that shows some of his doctored photographs, um, another article about um, what happened to him. There is a reaction from the editor of the Toledo Blade because after they fired Dietrich or he resigned, a lot of uh, readers said, we don't see what the big deal is, and so he has a defense of that. Uh, then I also have a uh, screen, um, screen slideshow of um, some other doctored photographs that have uh, been done over time. Um, and then I also have a, another kind of quick example from um, a small newspaper uh, in Montana. And then I also linked uh, to codes of ethics of the National Press Photographer Association and also um, their digital manipulation code of ethics. So take a look at this and put on your ethical journalism hat and think about uh, what you think about doctoring photographs and what you think about Alan Dietrich.